Hey guys, I'm Chris from the Silver Symbol Channel, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a product that will literally blow your mind. Now, anytime you're doing plumbing in your house, you've always gotta turn off the water. But what do you do if you don't have a shutoff valve or you don't have one that works? Well, that's when you're gonna wish that you had one of these. It's called the Aladdin Easy Fit Isolator Valve. You can install this valve on a fully pressurized water line without ever turning anything off. You don't have to cut any pipe, no drilling, no modifications. In fact, all you'll need is just one of these valves along with a regular cordless drill. They have been selling this in England very successfully and people have absolutely loved this thing. This is not just a temporary fix. This is a permanent, really well-built valve that is designed for full flow operation. This system is fully pressurized up to about 55 PSI. You can see here on the gauge that the water is live in the line. And I've got a reel just outside that I'm gonna set up so that we can see that the water is running the entire time that I'm doing this installation. You should be able to install one of these valves in less than 10 minutes. Now the model I'm using here is for half inch pipe, but they also make a three quarter inch and up to a one inch version. And this is the spot where I'm going to install this valve. I really should have put one of these in here when I replace this well tank. This line goes outside, feeds my outdoor spigot. You want to make sure that the piece of pipe you're going to install this on is as physically sound as possible. But to get started, we're going to just simply clamp the valve body onto the pipe. Next, you can use the included Allen key and you're going to tighten the four screws on the valve body. Now, it's really important here to do it evenly, meaning you want to alternate. Start on one corner, then go to the opposite corner and keep rotating it until you get all of the screws snugged down. Once this is tightened down, you cannot rotate the valve. So if you want to orient it differently, horizontally or vertically, you've got to do that before you tighten all four screws. Next, you need to break out your cordless drill and you're going to attach this tool that they also include in the kit. Now I can slide the tool onto the top of the valve. Run your drill in a clockwise direction the same way you'd normally put in a screw and you can begin rotating the tool and you're gonna watch this tool slowly sink into the valve. On my tool, you can see a blue and a red line. It's really important that as you're drilling down, you're gonna stop as soon as that blue line is level with the top portion of the valve. Next, we just need to unscrew this collar. You might've thought it was part of the valve, but it's actually just a piece that you use for the installation. Next, you'll notice on the top of this valve body, there are these two red dots. You've got to align them. Rotate that valve body until two of the dots are lined up correctly. Next, we're gonna remove this small piece of rubber that's underneath the stem. It just pops out. Push this valve stem into the valve. You can just do this by hand. Now we're gonna use this white cap that they include with the kit. You're just gonna slide it over that valve stem. And if it does pop up, that's just because this line is pressurized. So just gently push it down along with the cap and you're going to tighten these four Phillips head screws. There's no kind of water seal going on here. This is just to hold the valve handle in place. And at this point, we've just got one thing left to do, attach our valve handle. Now, fortunately, they even include two of them, a red and a blue one. And once it's on, tighten that hex nut on top of the valve stem. And at this point, we should be able to see if our new valve is working. You can see our sprayer is going away. Close that. Sprayer's off. The noise you hear is just my well pump pressurizing. That tank adds a, yeah, it just stops because it fills up just with a little bit of water. So even though I shut the valve off here, you are still gonna hear it, but it's totally off now. And I don't see any leaks. Again, this thing is freezing. Again, if you look, I just, you can see the water. That's not from the valve. It's off. So that was a live line with a valve installed with that is amazing. Now you're probably wondering, what did that valve even do that it could interrupt the flow of water? Contained inside this collar is an integrated pipe cutter. The cutter goes through your copper pipe and it pushes the pieces of pipe that it cuts into the bottom of the valve. When I press that stem down, I'm actually moving the ball valve into the flow of water. But now I can turn the valve body and that ball valve contained inside this housing can interrupt the flow immediately. This valve is not gonna be something you're gonna use for every one of your plumbing projects. Maybe you've got a house where you can't get access to getting a plumber there, you need to shut off your water and you just wanna be able to do it yourself. Now the only con of this valve is even this half inch version sells for $250. And while it may not be the cheapest, it's certainly something to consider if you've gotta do emergency plumbing or just get a shut off in a place that you can't do any other way. And remember to please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.